second graders, Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy with your third lesson of module three. And today we're still working within base 10. So those units of 10, 100, and 1,000 we've been working with. Today, our objective is to count up and down between 90 and 1,000. Huge number. But remember, we're going to use those bundles of hundreds, tens, and ones to count a more efficient way, to count faster. Okay? We're going to practice that today. Okay, we're going to start up with the same warm-up that we started off yesterday. We're going to start at a number, and I'm going to show you either a 10 stick, a 100 square, or a 1's cube. And we're going to count by either 10's, 100's, or 1's, depending on what you see. So a bundle of 100 means count by 100's, hundred of 10, bundle of 10 means count by 10's, and a single block means count by 1's. So we're going to start off counting by 10's. That's our 10 stick. We're going to start off at 110. Ready? 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. All right, pause. Now what are we going to count by? Hundreds. Very good. We're going to start at 600, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Very good. Now what are we going to count by? Tens again. Very good. Starting at 600. 600, 610, 620, 630, 640. Pause. Now what are we counting by? Ones. Very good. I'm going to start at 691. 691, 692, 693, 694, 695, 696, 697, 698, 699, 700, 701, 702, 703, and pause. Awesome job. Okay, so today we're going to uni use units of 10 and 100 to count from 90 to 300. So this is where I made my mistake yesterday. If you watched the video yesterday, you saw me get all flabbergasted. I made a mistake when we were doing the problem set. That happens, I'm human. What we want to do is get to the next 10. Here's what I mean. So we're starting at 90, right? So before I start counting by hundreds, I want to get this 90 up to the next 10 or up to the next 100. So I'm going to add a 10. So we're going to go 90, 100. Now it's easier for me to count by 100s. 90, 100. Now we're going to count by hundreds. 200, 300. Easy as that, right? We want to get ourselves to the next 10, whether it's by doing 10s, 1s, whatever it is, before we start adding on with those bigger numbers. So let's do this one one more time. Start at 90. We're going to count by 10s to get to 100. 90, 100. Now we're going to count on our hundreds. 100, 200, 300. Awesome job. All right, let's try this one. We're going to count from 170 to 500. I want you to pause the video, talk with someone at home about how we should do that. How can we count from 170 to 500 the easiest way possible? Learn from my mistakes from yesterday. You got it? Okay, my thought is let's get 170 up to the next 100, which is 200. To do that, I'm going to count by tens. So I have 170, counting by tens, 180, 190. Now we're at 200. Now, super easy for me to count by hundreds 300, 400, 500. When we start with a number that's not in the hundreds, not ending with zero, zero, not ending in a hundred, we want to get to that next hundred, get to that next ten, so it's easy for us to count by hundreds. All right, let's try another one. Count from 350 to 600. Pause and talk to someone at home about how we're going to do this the most efficient way, the easiest, fastest way. 350 to 600. Yeah, I agree. Let's get 350 to the next 100 by counting by tens. So we're at 350, so let's count by tens. 360, 370, 380, 390, 400. Now we just count by hundreds. 500, 600. Done. Awesome. All right, your turn. Count from 780 to 1,000. Again, use the trick that we've been going over in this lesson. On your own, start at 780. Ooh, 
Start at 780, count to 1,000. Pause when you're ready to go over it. Or come back when you're ready to go over it. Ready? All right, we're at 780. So we want to get to that next 100 so we can count by 100s. So we're going to count by 10s to start. 780, 790, 800. Now we can count by 100s. 900, 1,000. See? Super easy to get to 1,000 when we start counting by big numbers. All right, try this one. Ooh, is it faster to count using hundreds, tens, or hundreds? One hundreds, right? Because it's a bigger number, especially when we're counting up to a thousand. To get to that bigger number, it's easier to count by hundreds. Okay. You're going to count from 300 to 480 on your own. This one, we're going to do it a little bit backwards from the way we've been doing it, if that gives you a hint. Pause, count from 300 to 480, and then come back. A little bit backwards from the way we've been doing it, right? So for this one, we're going to start by counting by 100 because we're starting at a base 10. We're starting at 300. So we're going to add that 100 first. 300, 400. Now we're going to add in our tens. 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 407, 480. When we start with a base 10, you can add your hundreds easily to start and then add your tens in after, especially if that second number has tens in it. All right, try this one, same idea. Start at 500, count to 830 on your own. Come back when you're ready. Ready? Same thing as the last one, we're starting with a base 10 number. We're starting with 500, so we can start automatically by counting by 100s. So we're at 500, 600, 700, 800, and I'm going to stop because I got to my 800. I'm got, I got to the value I want to be at, but I have to add in those extra tens. So 800, 810, 820, 830. Yeah. Awesome. All right, try this one. Try it on your own. Come back when you're ready. Ready? Same thing. We're starting with base 10, 600 base 10 of 600 so we just can start off by counting by hundreds so we're at 600 we're gonna add 100 700 and then we're just gonna add in those extra 10 to get to 710 yay all right count from 800 to 990 do it on your own go ahead ready Okay, same thing with this one. We're starting with a base of 800, a base 10, so we can start counting right with 100s. So we're at 800, we're going to add on the 100, 900, and then we got to add on our 10s. 910, 920, 930, 940, 950, 960, 970, 980, 990. All right, last one. Here we go. Count from 100 to 361. Hmm, <laughs> getting a little tricky on you. Okay, ready? Let's go over it. We're going to start at 100. Now, we need to get to 361. 100 is a base 10 number, so we can just start right away by adding in our hundreds. So we're at 100, 200, 300. Stop. So we made it to 300. Now we have to work with our 60, our 610. So let's count those in. 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360. Stop. We made it to 360. Now what's the last thing we have to add in? 360. We have to add in that one. Awesome work. Oh, there's one more. Let's do this last one. And then we'll go over our exit ticket. All right, try this one on your own. Count from 200 to 432. Same way we did the last one. Ready? Let's go over it. Again, 200 is a base 10 number, so what are we going to count by first? Hundreds. Very good. So we're at 200, 300, 400, stop. Now we're going to add our tens. 410. 420, 430, stop. Now what's our last step? Add in the two ones. 431, 432. 
Awesome. So if you start with a base 10, add those hundreds in first. If you don't, you need to add up to get to a base 10 number, whether that's adding the ones, the tens, whatever it means, it'll make it easier for you in the long run. All right, let me show you your exit ticket for today. You are going to choose the best way to count between these two numbers. So if I am at 300 and I want to get to 900, which of these options would be best, most efficient, fastest for me to count? There are four problems like that. And then you're going to use this picture to count how many sticks there are together. The big bundles are hundreds, the little bundles are tens, and the ones by themselves are ones. All right? If you have any questions, let me know. Great job today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.